welcome back my pupils i got something new in from my 10 millimeter rock island armory open gun i was looking around online for a set of aggressive grips for this now brownworks made me a great set of grips for this but i have another rock island double stack coming in right now i have it on order let's see how fast it comes in because it showed back order so we might get that probably later than sooner, but that's okay. I've got a really nice set of brown work scripts for it. And these are actually engraved with my reloading from the Hot Pot logo. You've seen these on a previous video. Brown works does some absolutely fabulous scripts, but I'm looking for something for my competition gun, something a little more aggressive. These will work fine on what's coming in because that's just going to be a range plinker. But this one here, I need to be able to throw it around. So let's get the package out and take a look. This package came in from Stoner CNC in Archibald, Ohio, which is just north of my location. So you'll be seeing more of Stoner CNC on the channel. But right now, let's open this up and take a look. We are going to get out El Trusty Albatross from the Bubba channel. I kind of miss Bubba. I haven't seen him around too much. I wonder if he's just working. This thing is sharp, 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 sharp. Cut right through that. Let's put that to the side. Danger Russ it is. Let's see what we got in here. Stoner CNC. Thank you for your recent purchase. And my customer info. These are the blue, blue, black, double stack. Rock Island Armory 2011, 2011 double stack. And this is where they're from. Here, if you want to pause that, you can. Stoner CNC does a lot of really good stuff. And here's something funny. I was emailing back and forth with him and come to find out I shoot with his brother. <laughs> and I've probably shot a couple matches with him and we just didn't realize who each other was. So we're going to meet up this weekend and... Uh, have a shoot together. Maybe I'll get some videos of that. Oh, these are beautiful. Now, these are G10 CNC grips. Much more aggressive. That's what I'm looking for. Excellent looking. Excellent looking. Look at that. Look fabulous. Those are just beautiful. That's a matte set. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I can't install these on YouTube, but I'm going to go off camera here and I'm going to install them on the Rock Island Armory 10 millimeter open gun. Yes, I run a 10 millimeter open gun. Now I have a nine millimeter open gun. I have a 10 folio gold customeric. Absolutely beautiful. I use it for a backup gun because it is just so pretty. I would rather throw this one around and banging in and out of a holster and um, off of prop tables than I would that one. So I use the, the 10 folio for a backup gun. But we're going to step off of here and uh, install these and take a look at it. So what do you think? What do you think? Man, that just adds to the appeal of it. I'm slowly getting this thing cosmetically done. Mechanically, it runs like a clock, man. I have done so much work with this thing, so much polishing and some fitting. It just works like a clock. And I didn't want to start doing any other aesthetic work to it, especially the slide of the frame until I had the slide and the frame fit together, which I've got it pretty good. Uh, she's running like a clock. As long as I keep her lubed, she runs good. So there you go, my pupils. For excellent, excellent wooden engraved grips, I would definitely go to Brownworks. But those are going to go on another item. But for my competition gun, these G10 grips from Stoner CNC are absolutely fabulous. I love them. I love the way they feel. Uh, I just love this Rock Island. Now, I did have to do a little bit of fitting because I have an extended slide release on this. See there? Nice extended slide release and some extended um, thumb safeties. These are uh, Ed Brown. And I believe this is, that might be an Ed Brown piece too. I'm not quite sure. But 
Uh, because of that, I had to file the top of this grip down a little bit. So if you have done anything extra outside of stock to your firearm, such as uh, the extended slide release, slide catch, then um, you would have to do this too. And I've had to do this with other manufacturers. But I'll tell you what, after seeing this and the price, the price was right. I would definitely look up Stoner CNC. Absolutely fabulous. Well, my pupils, that's what I got for you today. Amazing why I turn the other light on what happens, huh? <laughs> At the end of the video. <laughs> Oh, well, oh, well. Check out Stoner CNC. I'm sure you're going to see some videos of me and him meeting this weekend. And, uh, well, you'll probably see the videos after this weekend. So, because it hasn't happened yet. It's always got to be something in the videos, you know. Well, my peoples, thank you very much for watching. I greatly appreciate you. And always remember to keep blowing that smoke.